G'day guys, Dana here from Good Arm Australia. Well, it's a pretty uh, windy, dismal, drizzly old day here at home, so not much doing around the joint. So it's given me an opportunity to do a little experiment today. I've got two uh, thermal rifle scopes here. They're two different brands. And basically what I want to do today is just compare image quality to each device. They're very, very similar in sensors and similar in pricing. So when you go to the shop, gun shop or, or thermal shop and you're looking at um, a budget of where these two guys are, these are probably going to run very, very similar alongside of each other. So what we've got here, we've got the all new Hick Micro Stellar 3.0 in the SQ50L. And over here, we've been lucky enough to get a hold of a Pulsar Thermion 2 XP50. So, as I said, they're very similar in sensors, not the same, um, and they're also very similar in pricing. So, just to give you a quick rundown of the engine room of each device, we will start with the Pulsar. So, it's a Pulsar Thermion 2 XP50. It has a pixel resolution of 640 by 480. It has a net D uh, rating of sub 25 millikelvins and it has a resolution display of 1024 by 768. It has a base magnification of two times and it retails on the shelves for $6,800. Then we go over to the all new Stellar 3.0. So as I said, it's the SQ50L model. It has a pixel resolution of 640 by 512. It has a net D rating of sub 15 millikelvins, and it has a display resolution of 2560 by 2560. It has a base magnification of 3.6 uh, times, and it retails for $6,495. So, as I said, uh, later on, I'll wait till later, weatherman says we're going to clear up, so I'm hoping for that. We're going to get these guys side by side, uh, looking at the exact same landscape setting. I'll try and pick up some horses, cattle, uh, whatever I can find, and just compare image quality between each device at different distances um, on magnification. Alright guys, we'll leave it at that, and uh, we'll wait till later.